Like all ESR industrial heaters, the ES700 is designed to be simple to operate and easy to service. Today, I'll show you the easy startup and shutdown procedures, explain the functions of the three beacon indicator light, then talk about the duct attachments and easy access serviceability. Let's begin. To start the ES700, first inspect the unit and ensure that it's ready and safe to operate. Make sure it is level side to side with a forward tilt and check that all switches and circuit breakers are in the off position. When you're ready, start by flipping the battery disconnect switch to the on position. Next, turn the key switch on the control unit to position one for 15 seconds. Then, turn the key switch to position two to engage the starter. Let the motor warm for three to five minutes. Switch the circuit breakers to the on position. Turn on the fan and toggle the burner control switch to on. To shut down the ES700 heater, first, shut down the burner by toggling the control switch to the off position. Next, let the blower fan run for five minutes to cool the burner, then switch off the fan. Turn off the generator. Return all breakers and the battery disconnect switch to the off position. The ES700's three beacon light gives the operator real-time status alerts at a glance. The green light indicates that the generator set is running normally. The red light indicates that the burner is not producing heat. And the yellow light indicates a low fuel level. The ES700 has two 12-inch outlet ducts and one 20-inch inlet duct located at the back of the unit. Attaching and detaching ductwork is easily accomplished using the built-in quick-release toggle clamps. The design of the ES700 makes oil, air, and fuel filter servicing simple. The 150% secondary fluid containment tank contains accidental spills and is easy to drain. Please contact your local ESR sales representative or visit the ES700 support page on our website for more details.